What's up guys? Welcome back to Seeds of B and G. Hello. We are walking out here to the garden. I don't know when's the last time we actually did a kind of a walk through to let people see what have, what's been coming up. But I know if you go back at least 10 videos, <laughs> at least 10, you'll see us fighting with this landscape fabric, trying to get ready for the growing season. Um, it is probably 90 degrees today yes. um, and we do not water um, the garden when it's at the high temp temperatures of the day but believe us things are flourishing some of the leaves look sad right now <laughs> but um we're gonna get them get it, everything watered this evening again and um here we go what's these cucumbers mm -hmm. they definitely need water they need lots of water but you can see it in here oh you got cucumber already mm -hmm. okay they starting there's some little ones in here Okay, that's one right there, ain't it? Yep, it's about three or four now. See, they popping up up here. So that's a oh, little you see that one? Yeah. I see it. Off that yellow. And that one, uh, Okay. They need some water for sure. And then oh, the wow. tomatoes, and they getting so heavy, I need to come in here and uh, weed up here. Because you can see they starting to fall because they getting so big. Can you zoom in right here? All right, the water. Can you see? Good. But they all in here. I ain't stop the way. <laughs> Down here. You can see them. All around here. So if you just come around, you'll see them. So we have like the, the light tomatoes, the bigger ones, the Roma tomatoes. They're all in here. Gotcha. But I'm definitely going to be coming back out here because I need to weave at the top for sure. Because they all... <laughs> I mean, it's a clusters, lot. Clusters of tomatoes are everywhere. everywhere. Little ones still coming up up top up here. Yep. All right. So yep. So they doing tomatoes right here as well. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can pick these up. Looks like they grow in little clusters in here. Good gracious. <laughs> this is a whole whole lot of them off of that one. Yes, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then. Somehow a tomato plant got in here. I'm really confused about that because I know we had the trays of peppers, the trays of tomatoes. Yeah, I think you messed up. But I think you did the peppers. Or maybe we did them together. I don't know. Well, whatever, whatever the case is, you did it. was it. me. Yeah. Of course. So you can look in here and we're starting to get our um, cayenne peppers a lot. What you see? It was a spur. Oh. Some spiders are good. So look at this. <laughs> Some spiders are good. Oh, wow. They're all in here. If you come this way, you can see a lot more on this What plant. are these? The serrano hot those, peppers? Those hot. You see them all in there? I don't see. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, the nice long ones. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Take a bite. You don't want to take a bite? Oh, no, right there. And yeah. this okay, tomato, this tomato plant is also flourishing, so... Mm -hmm. um, back here is you still there? <laughs> back here is my beautiful corn. It's looking good. Last year the corn like got attacked by something. It was back here in this way, but they're looking really good. Mm -hmm. And then I also put the peas. I think I mentioned it before. You can see the the peas are in here too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I uh, I found out more about that. Like it's something about the nitrogen that peas give, and corn needs that, so that helps too. So not only can you use it for the like a trellis, it can climb up that stem or the corn, but it also gives it nitrogen. Where are we going? Let's go here. The onions. I think these they're gonna be big. I'm starting to see it little heal up right here, but it takes a while. But you can see that one. That's a good one to see too. Down here. Well, there's gonna be some really nice big red onions right there, you guys. I also threw some peppers in here. So hopefully the peppers, they're definitely growing, so hopefully we'll see something growing up there. Nice. More peppers over here. Kale. Oh, I need to cut some of this lettuce. It's starting to flower. Look at that. How they get in there? See? I, you have to come out of your garden a lot. Look at these. They got in there. So and they get I got in there and lay eggs. Yes, so you, I come out here a lot and have to check get them. Get out of here. But they look good. They Normally you'll see and it'll look like it's eating up. Kale? But, yep. And I already cut it. And lettuce? Lettuce. Mm -hmm. One of these lettuces is um, 
It's like strong. It They're like all like strong. A strong. It's a taste. mix. You know how you go to the store and you kind of get like that spring mix bag? Mm -hmm. That's what this is. That's why you see, look, you come over here, you see the color ones. Oh, okay. So it's a mix, but it's a strong flavor. But that's what happens too when you you get used to what you're getting from the grocery store. Right. But when you grow stuff, the flavors are so much stronger. Right. Um, so you question it, but really. Really, it's, the question should be, what are they feeding you? Yeah. How do they get the flavor out of it at the grocery store is exactly. the question. Exactly. But I know what you're talking about. We gotta get a hair and weed. And here we go. Now the squash zucchini, I just did a, a cute little short where well, my son did it uh video. But um they just keep coming, y'all. Y'all know how how that squash and zucchini. There's more over here. Like I just came in here and look at these things. I mean these zucchini. And I just came through here, y'all, and harvest zucchini the zucchini and squash yesterday, so you'll see. But I also have like flowers in here. Um, that I was playing around with and the cilantro is growing really good back here. You can see I did this row first and then I came back and did more. So these are smaller but they're starting to um, produce already. <laughs> Come on down. It's a lot of them y'all. <laughs> yeah and the flavors of the squash and zucchini you know I know we said I said this last year um but when you start eating farm fresh food whether it's from a farmer's market or, or anything like that from someone's actual farm the flavors like Alicia said earlier are I want to say totally different from what you get in the grocery store like the the squash and zucchini um I'll say the squash is like super sweet to me like yes, it, it's, it's, it's just different. It tastes good. <laughs> like you can just eat it, chop it, and eat it raw. There she just... go again when they're eating it raw. Yes, it's good. It's a lot in here, babe. Like, I'm telling you, this squash. Wow. And over here, this is the new plant. Look, look at these zucchini. Wow. Y'all see that? They're like a big squash this year. Oh, I'm sorry. This squash, I probably been should have got. I, I must missed it yesterday because ain't no way. Look how big this thing is, y'all. Well. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, it's like every I do two rolls, and it's always one roll that be really good <laughs> with the thing. So it's interesting. But these are the uh, string beans we put up with the trellis we had made. I think we just we did a video about that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are these are pole beans, so they'll climb up high. So you need some kind of trellis to help them. Unlike the um these beans over here, which is black beans and llama beans, they these are bush beans, but they getting mighty tall. I'm starting to think I might need some you know, something. You know what happened? What? You probably mislabeled it like you did that tomato in there. Nah. <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> I don't know though, but look at these. Yeah, we got a <laughs> and I have um, what are they, what are they called? The bamboo sticks. So maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I can throw a bamboo stick on these so they not sit here and start laying over into these. But these are all um, llama beans, the ones that germinated, and the black beans. So you can see again, it's like one row do really good, and then this other row didn't even germinate. So I don't know the deal. Now okra is, is sad. Well. I say how the crab crabgrass get through, but if this made it through, just think of how much how much didn't make it through. Exactly. So, or how much didn't even get the chance to um, chance to even get started. I'm sorry. Um. So sadly, I love okra, and that's like something I really really want. But I am going to start some more okra, but they being attacked hardcore by the little bitty bugs up black black aphids or yes like and i mean they taking over and i try to use like a natural oil different things to come out here and spread down i know to do both sides but it they it's so many up there I, I don't know if i can save them but a lot of them already just died and if you get a close up you can see it we can show them show them the bad too but like i said i got some more starter seed mix and i hope to show them a black aphid oh it, it's gonna be look at it loaded where look at oh y'all see that behind that that's what we're fighting um 
black black aphids is what they're called. And I believe what happens is they just like suck the nutrients out of the plant, basically. And you know, they just take over. I mean, a lot of them were smaller and they just turned brown and died. And these couple of these got big enough, but like I said, I try to spray them down with natural oil, um, a neem oil, but yeah. it ain't really um, working out. I think we need but to figure it's gonna out be what okay. kills it. Um, especially after right. I did the research and found out that it takes a lot to be classified actual organic and all that stuff. Right. Um, you know, I rather have a, <laughs> I rather have a harvest than a claim to, <laughs> a false claim to being labeled as whatever. Yeah. Oh, I guess we could have um, went to the great. So with that being said, if you guys know of any um, way to get rid of black aphids down there in the comment section, let us know. And thank you, please, and thank you. <laughs> all right, so sunflowers all across here, like a walkway. Um, those seeds um, were from last year's sunflowers. There's all Zena plant flowers trying to be here. And then we got our watermelon coming, y'all. And I, like, again, I just made a short yesterday with my son Andre, and you will see the difference. Like, they grow so fast. There's a little more right there. Yep, they're all through here. Like, you're going to catch them as you walk here. Come back, there's a big one here. Gotcha. A long lost squash that I, I replanted and they doing fine over here. <laughs> Cause y'all see these watermelon plants will run all over the place. You got to have space for them. Yep. Right here. So got little watermelons everywhere. More corn. I wanted to try both ways in the um, garden beds and then also out the garden beds. So gotcha. that's through here. And then there's um, cantaloupe plants and those are growing as well. So let's take a quick Did look. Did the cantaloupe um, any of them? Oh wow. Yeah. I been out here. I've been here. outside and they came over here. Yep. And then. I see one, two, see some little ones. Yep. And then this one didn't germinate when those did. You no, know, these were transplants and it didn't survive shock. So I replanted the seed and that one's coming out. And hiding up under here. Under here. So I'm going on these leaves. So I might need to clean these out. But you can see. Yeah. They're all in here. So, so far, you guys, so good. Um, it's exciting. Oh, I see a big zucchini I gotta get over there. I came in with the mower and <laughs> chopped down this, uh, we tried to plant wildflowers right here in the middle and the the weeds and grass just outperformed the wildflower you No, know, what happened was the wind actually came that very next day after we put it down and it moved and we, I think it just flew the seeds, the landscape messed up and we had a, I don't know. That's what she should have said. I don't know what happened. I guess I should have said that. <laughs> I'm going to get this bikini I saw. But there y'all have it. This is the garden. going to walk over here real quick and take a look at the grapes while she's pulling that. Here's our one of our Carlos Cuffadon grapes. doing pretty good. It's clusters of uh, grapes all throughout this thing. Um, especially, yeah, they're all over the place. Seems like they like to be on that side, yeah. <laughs> but they're taking taking over this vine here. Alicia came in and kind of pruned the bottom of it. Excellent. Cleaned it up. <laughs> and here's our babies that we got um, not too long ago. but. We're happy to see that they're accepting our soil as well. Um, that's one of the big things when you when you purchase plants and they're already been started, but started in um, a different soil than what you have. Um, that's always a kind of a gamble sometimes, but they're doing pretty good. We're gonna get out here this evening um, and water them, water, water, water everything really. But there you go. That's what we have. Alicia Swing is in there still doing good. Yes, I love you, Smell Zucchini. <laughs> All right, y'all please like, comment, subscribe. And y'all come back now, you hear? Because we got veggies. God bless you. And fruit.